I am on to see my husband. I'm happy. I'm happy to see my husband. We are going out tonight. Well, not tonight, but this afternoon ish. The time is 10, and I'm planning on getting ready before three o'clock i'll be going bowling with my prince charming and i look like this and i have like four or five hours to get ready so we'll start off by taking down this hair i've never been bowling before and i'm so excited i love trying out new things because who knows maybe i'll be a pro at it on my first try before i go out for an outing or for an event i look on pinterest just to picture how i'm going to look for that day because i won't say i have a style at the moment i don't have a style but i know what i like and i know what i don't like so i went on pinterest and the hairstyle that i'm doing today looks something like this i'm all for hair like if my hair looks good then i look good I look you wish I could go like this though. Just like without my hair being all white. I've put conditioner in my hair, the KUI conditioner, just to make losing my hair very easy. And I drenched my hair with this oil. It's a protein oil, I guess, so you have to rinse it out. And I'm going to wait like maybe an hour, 30 minutes before I rinse it out. I'm not washing my hair, I'm not doing anything to my hair in the shower, I'm just rinsing it out. If you are going out, whether with your friends or somebody or whatever, and it's an activity kind of outing. The best um, hairstyle you can do for your faulty hair is any slick, backy hairstyle. Any hairstyle that like holds your hair tight. If your hair is not in braids, but a slick back puff is always my go-to hairstyle. I just came out of the shower and I've already lotioned my body and done the simple things. So for my face, I'm going to put this Vaseline on my face. I don't know why, but I just, I just like it. And then I put sunscreen on. The white cast it leaves is very, very terrible. So I just put a little and then I rub it. I rub it. Do the same for the other side. Yeah, when I know. So I did like two layers of that just so my skin can be protected. And now we'll continue with my hair. I'm going to blow dry my hair today. So right now I'm going to spray this on my hair. I use shea butter just to protect my hair. I've never used key protectant on my hair. I always use shea butter and my curls just bounce back every time i don't know what is it with shea butter but i like it just to make things quicker i section my hair into three places just one two and one at the back i don't know why i'm rushing i still have time i don't know why i'm panting i just want to go so early because i'm so excited like oh my god <sighs> anyway i put a lot of shea butter on my hair and i focus on the tips of my hair. This is shea butter with coconut oil, castor oil, vitamin C, and some cocoa butter. I just do it like that to make my hair really white. I hold it and do the next section. So this is what I'll be using. It looks like my old one, the old one is spoiled. It comes with this, so I would put this rubber on it first and put this. It looks exactly like the old one, so I'm just going to put it on the same settings as I did the old one. I want a 
a slick back but i want it like with braids like i'll do the braid like a crown and then it comes to a puff at the back it's going to be so cute so i'm going to do a middle part now i'm going to use this curl lala cream i haven't used it in a while the last time that i used it on this channel that was the last time that i actually used it this is what i use this is my go-to hair gel that slicks everything down with you know a nice hard brush i'll first start by using the curl cream on the tips of my hair because my hair feels so stiff right now i want to slick this down oh do you see that shine like oh my goodness like i just can't wait my hair is so thick so to make things easier i'm just going to divide it and i'll not put the gel down all the way to the back then i use my hard brush Slick it in place on top of that. I like it. It could be a little bit slicker. I don't know. Could it be? I don't know. Let me just do this other side. But I like how this one turned out. I actually thought it would look worse. This side is better than this side. I feel like because the hair on this side is longer than the hair on this side. But now it's time to do the back. The back is definitely the easiest part to do. I don't even have to, you know, blow dry it. Just put gel all over the perimeter. And I'm good. I'm good to go. So this is how the front is looking and then this is the back right now i'm just doing my edges but i'll be using this when you're doing your edges it feels like there are some white stuff and it goes after i'm done seeing this far but if it looks too much i just wipe it down to set my hair in place i use this got to be glue spray just to make everything stay in place i hate using this on my hair because it feels like i'm putting pure alcohol on my hair so i barely use this My head is not as small as some people may think <laughs> so I fold it in a triangle just to make it longer and then I tie it on my head like this there is my favorite part the makeup is the fun part and the outfit is the stressful part so now it's makeup time when I go out I just look natural, like 100% natural. I don't do anything to my brows. I put edge control on them, just to leave them in place all day. I already have bushy brows in the first place, so there really is no need for me to do anything to my brows. So I just leave them down like that. So for my eyes, I just like my my eyes already look like up what are they called siren eyes that's how my eyes look naturally so i just like to accentuate that just very very tiny this 
this is what it's giving do we like it i don't know i think i like it it's okay i feel like i'm so used to my natural face and i love my natural face so much that if i do anything that alters it or changes the way that i look i'll just hate it So it's outfit time i've never gone bowling before but i've seen it and i see like there is somewhat a lot of movement and a lot of bending so what i wear has to be free you know shouldn't be flashing anyone i feel like this fits better but is this a bowling outfit i hated the top so i changed to this this is kind of like revealing to the outside world so i'm going to wear this i watched this movie and the girl was you know going bowling i said i've never been bowling but i saw that they give shoes to bowl maybe they are bowling shoes or something but i highly doubt they would have my size so i'm just going to wear these for my jewelry i just wore this gold pearl earrings and this gold african necklace and for my perfume i'm going to be using this why YSL lintens or something like that? I don't know. I just like the smell. I just feel like it's nice. And then, but first, I'll be using these two oil perfumes. This one is called Bushira. This is the one that I like. And this one, it kind of has this sweet, yeah, this sweet feminine scent. So I'm just going to put it on my neck. And then, and it's strong. So. I don't want to get it cold and i'll put this on the rest of my body because it's less strong but it smells like an arabian princess it smells like a female in dubai that's how i can explain it <laughs> so that's what it smells like and i really love it then on top of it i'll just spray it. I don't go over my hair and spray stuff. I just spray on my body. And my hair already smells good, so. And for my bag, I'll be carrying this bag just because of the gold and because it's small. And we're going bowling, so let me just carry like a basic bag. Let's see what the hair is looking like. <sighs> wow. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I'll put my trusted puff and then all the stuff about the. So, this is the finished look. So, I'm about to get going. I look so pretty. Oh my gosh, I look so good. <laughs>